Another reason dealing more with the nervous system and the brain is neurological disorganization. Your brain's wiring is a mess. Basically, it's confused, it's trying to do one thing, but it's doing something else, and it, you can't heal beyond that. And that could be from cranial or your skull bones trauma during birth. If you think about birth, the baby literally gets squished out of the canal, and the head sometimes is misshapen, and then you know it's supposed to go back. But your skull bones, even though they like to say that they're immovable, they move every time you breathe slightly. And if one bone isn't moving how it should, it's gonna put pressure there and eventually that could put pressure on the brain and just affect the nerves organization and the nervous system's function there. If the cranial, we call them cranial faults, is one reason, then as a child grows, the ADD, ADHD, learning disabilities will get worse because the skull becomes more and more and more immovable making it harder for the brain to function. You would need to come in and you can actually manipulate those skull joints into moving properly and that will take enough stress off the area so that it can heal and function can then return to the brain and nervous system. One last thing which often is very common is just that the brain itself is toxic. It could stem from the gut not being healthy. You don't have a good balance between good and bad bacteria, making the gut sick, making the spaces between your gut cells stretch or gap so that it's not a tight seal and then there's more likely anything can go through those gaps and so that could be bugs, bacteria, viruses, that could be toxins, chemicals, metals, pesticides, food and when that happens when there's a bad balance is the guts don't work well. Think of it as just a slow, just a slow down moving mess of sludge. It's going to create toxics, it's going to create fumes, things are going to putrefy, things are going to ferment, and that itself is then going to enter the bloodstream, which the blood goes everywhere, and if you have a problem in the gut, then it can actually bypass your blood brain barrier, which is the barrier that's supposed to stop anything bad from going into the brain. And when you're sick enough, that can't filter as well. And so toxins can enter the brain themselves and cause inflammation, cause dysfunction in the brain. And if this happens in your brain, your brain isn't gonna work very well. Your body's gonna be more concerned with trying to get out that mess than functioning. It comes in terms of importance, it's more important to try to get out what's causing it to a, a potentially be really, really sick versus paying attention in class or memorizing that word or learning that math. Another interesting fact, or at least I think it's interesting, is if you have a lot of yeast in your body, it ferments into basically alcohol. And so if you have a ton of yeast that's being the toxic alcohol that's being produced is being absorbed, you could have a constant semi-state of drunkenness. So if you think of someone that's ever been drunk, try to imagine them at that point in time paying attention in class, learning, you know, it wouldn't happen very well. Anyways, those are my top things with ADD and ADHD. If you want to know for sure, definitely come in, schedule an appointment, we can figure out exactly what's going on, and then give you step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step approach of how to fix it and what to do. All right, thank you for listening and watching today. If you have any questions, please comment below. And if you have any requests for future videos, let me know.